Dream big, talk smart. A good friend of mine, Bruce Locklear, Dr. Bruce Locklear, who's one of the premier educators of our times, uses this phrase a lot. Dream big, talk smart. I love this phrase because I love to dream big. I love to think beyond what currently is to what could be. In fact, that's one of the things that I do quite often. I don't look at what we currently have going, oh man, it's so great. I wish it would never change. I think it'd be awesome if it all stayed the same. Rather, I look at it going, man, you know what it could be? Oh, that would be incredible. And I dream big about how then it can impact the whole world. I love thinking about what's going on in our world today. I love thinking about what's happening in our national conversation and the impact we could have in that. In fact, I get caught up at times thinking about the end of the world and where all of this is going with the big conversation in mind. In fact, the church that I have the privilege of being the lead pastor in right now is going through a series on the end of the world. I like to think big. Here's where I get stuck in the talking smart part. And that's where Dr. Locklear has really helped me because he's asked me the right questions. So what happens if these big dreams, what happens if they come to life? Are you ready for it? And what's it gonna take to get there? And what's the first step that you have to take in order to move in that direction? And see, that's where I can get stuck because often I dream so big that then I get to a place where I'm like, ugh. There's really no way I'll ever have an impact. In fact, I don't think I'm alone in that. There's many of us that probably do the same thing, that we dream big and what dreaming big ends up doing is it makes us feel so small and insignificant and helpless. And what we end up doing then is getting stuck right where we're at. And instead of doing big things, we end up doing nothing. I know that can be me in certain situations. As I look at our national conversation right now in particular, that's one of the things where I'm sitting there going, oh, I'd love to see unity. I'd love to see us come together. I'd love to see the church play a role in this and bring the message of the gospel, the healing message of Jesus to everything that's going on in our culture right now. And then I stand here going, but that's such a big task. How are we ever going to accomplish it? And I get stuck. And that's where talking smart is necessary. And I think Jesus gave us this example. He came dreaming big. In fact, he came thinking about changing the world. And he could have done it in the big things. He could have gone and done the things that nobody else could do because he was God. He had the ability to do it. He had the power to do so. But instead, when he got pulled into those conversations, he knew that to change the world was going to be different. And so instead of attacking the big problems, he focused on talking smart. And the way that Jesus talked smart was by asking this question, who's in front of me right now? And you see that then in his life, how he lived that out. He focused on what was in front of him in that moment. See, I think we then can take that example and apply it to our lives. As we think big, we need to talk smart. As we dream big, as we have these huge plans, we need to talk smart. And the question we need to ask is much like the question Jesus asked, who's in front of me right now? See, changing the world and dreaming big starts by changing one life at a time. I think what's cool is the national conversation is showing us that. If we were to look at this last presidential election, it was split almost right down the middle. You know what that means? That's actually really exciting. Why? Because the ratio is one to one. When we think about the conversations that we need to have, it's not the big conversations that are up here. Rather, it's the one-on-one -on -one conversations. Because if we were to bring unity to our culture, all we have to do is find one person that we may not think like, one person that might not be like us, and let's build a relationship with them. And then if we all committed to doing that, guess what? It's one-to-one. -one. How simple is that? As we dream big about changing our culture and bringing unity, we have to talk smart. And the question we have to ask is, Who's in front of us right now? And when we do that, we will change the world. So do this today. Go outside and look at the person right in front of you and get to know them. Have a conversation with them. And in doing so, if we all do that, we'll bring unity to this nation. 
And by doing that, we will change the world. So dream big and talk smart and have a great week. See you next week.